In the previous lesson, we learned about a type of mixture called homogeneous mixture, or also known as a solution. Basically, when we have two or more substances that are mixed together, physically blended together, but they look the same throughout. In this lecture, we are going to look at that specific solution. Well, in order to understand this type of solution, we need to know the term solute and solvent. A solute is a substance that's being dissolved in a solvent. Well, if that's the case, this is usually a solid. Okay, and being dissolved in a solvent. Well, think of water. Water is a liquid. A common example of solutes that we consume on a daily basis is salt and sugar. Okay, those solutes are dissolved by water, which in this case, water is a solvent. And actually, water is our universal solvent. Because it dissolves most of the ionic substance. The mixture of a solute or solutes and solvent is called a solution, which we mentioned before. Now, in this lecture, we are going to look at mathematically how do we measure the concentration of solute in a solution. Because if you put a little bit of salt or sugar, it would have a different taste when you put a bunch of salt and sugar in the same amount of volume of water. Now, we are going to look at mathematically in that sense. Well, the measurement of how many moles of solutes, see how many moles of solutes, okay, in one liter of solution is called molarity. And therefore, molarity is a conversion factor. Remember, a conversion factor is a ratio between two measurement. In this case, we have mole and liter. And that makes sense. We have the number of moles of A equal to one liter of solution. And it is always one liter. Always, okay? It is always one liter. And of course, A would be your solute. And we abbreviate solution with L for liter, S-O-L. And lastly, you have to realize that molarity is represented by the capitalized M. So when you see a capital M, you have to realize that this is the number of mole or whatever the chemical it is over one liter of solution, always, okay? Or one liter of solution equal to number of moles of A. Remember, this is a conversion factor. It doesn't matter how we write it. So let's solve this one problem together. Find the molarity of a solution for the solute below. Well, in this case, we have 1.50 moles of sodium chloride, which is NaCl. It's mixed with 1.70 liters of water, which is your solvent right here. So this is your solute. So as you read this problem, you have to know what's happening in, in the situation. We know that salt is going to dissolve in water. So right away, we know that salt is your solute instead of water is your solute, okay? And then we're going to make this assumption. The volume of the solute is so small, and therefore it is negligible, negligible. That means you can ignore it. So let's do the math. So we know that molarity, which is M, okay, is equal to the number of moles of A divided by one liter of solution. So if we do that, all we have to do is just plug in the values. 1.50 mole of NaCl divided by what? Well, 1.70 liter of solution. Notice how we don't have the one liter of solution down here. Because look at this. If this is a fraction, all we have to do this is plug in a calculator, and that's pretty much it. 1.50 divided by 1.70. And look what we have, 0.882. We always keep our answer to two decimal places. In this case, we would have 0.88. So what does that really mean? Well, you notice nothing really cancel out. 
So what we really have is 0 0.88 mole of NaCl. But remember, when we simplify by dividing by this, this denominator, the bottom number, automatically become 1. And that's how fraction work when we simplify it. So that is 1 liter of solution. But we have to realize that this part right here is also equal to M. So in most cases, when you see molarity, it's 0.88 molarity of NaCl. Now do you see how that works? And that's all it is. Let's try another problem. In this case, find molarity of the solution for the solute below. We have 0.21 moles of NaCl, again, solvent, is mixed with 0.31 liter of solution. Again, we don't have that one liter of solution, because sometimes we don't use exactly one liter of solution. But it's easy. We just simplify the fraction. So again, M is your molarity. It's equal to the number of moles of solute, okay, moles of A divided by, in this case, more specifically, if we can revise this, it's basically one liter of solution just to solve it out. And then once we plug it in, 0 0.21 mole of NaCl. Notice how I replace this with a number sign versus just one, because in most cases, we don't use exactly one liter of solvent, because that's a lot of... So in this case, how much is our solvent? It is 0 0.31 liter of solution. And what's happening here is, remember, the volume of the solute is small and negligible. That means you can ignore it. So even though our solution is equal from solute plus solvent, we can pretty much ignore that, right? So solution now, so the volume of solution is actually equal to the volume of solvent in most cases. Now let's plug this in my calculator and simplify it. So what we have here, 0.21 divided by 0.31. And what we have here is 0.677. So therefore, we're going to round that to 0.68. So we have 0 0.68 mole of NaCl divided by now we simplify, so therefore now it's one liter of solution, which this part right here is equivalent to M of NaCl. So our answer is 0 0.68 M NaCl. There you go.